This is the second lesson in our collection Improving Vocabulary and today we are going to see the next set of words which is we saw in the previous video 1 to 10 words and in this lesson we are going to see words from 11 to 20. So let's quickly learn, learn 10 new words which will help us improve our vocabulary and these are very high frequency words. These are also words which come uh, in very high frequency in examinations like GRE, SAT and CAT and these are very important words that you should know. So the first one is dissonance. So what is the first thing that comes to, comes to your mind when you have dissonance? It is basically a conflict or disagreement and especially when the conflict happens there are two different people who have different beliefs and that's why this conflict is happening and um, especially it happens during them but usually it's a conflict or a disagreement for example the dissonance between the projected revenue of the company and their actual revenue shocked everyone there was a conflict between the projected revenue and the actual revenue that's why the shock Lethargic. I think lethargic is a word most of us would know. It is also a very commonly used word. Lethargic is when you are dull, when you are inactive, when you are sluggish. Basically lack of energy or lack of interest in doing things. That we spend so much time watching TV shows that we get lethargic is one use of this. Whenever you are dull, when you are inactive, when you don't want to get out of your bed, that's lethargic. Abscond. Abscond is basically that... Uh, you're hiding either you're hiding from the police or the government you go away or escape secretly and you go away escape secretly and hide yourself for example Andy absconded from the Shawshank prison if you have seen the movie Shawshank Redemption he absconded from the prison and started living living away in some other country and he hid himself cogent so cogent means that Something that is clear and easy for the mind to accept. Something that that is persuasive. Something that persuades your mind and has the power to compel you to believe something. For example, the results of the DNA fingerprinting were the most cogent evidence for the acquittal. The next one is gorge. To cut or make a deep hole in something. To subject to extortion. Gorge means to cut or make a deep hole in something. For example, the crash gorged the front of the bus or the cricket ball hit and gorged the car. Now levy is something, an embankment for prevention of flood or a bank built along the river. So levy has two meanings. So one is maybe a bank built along the river or a place where the river lands or a reception of visitors or guests. For example, we are all going to New Year's Levy. Abeyance. Abeyance means temporary inactivity, something that has been sub suspended temporarily. For example, our plans to visit Chennai were held in abeyance because of the floods. Or post the earthquake, pilots observed a period of abeyance where they could not leave airport. Very easy word. Temporary inactivity. Coda. Now, remember, coda is something that is that should be associated with ending of something. For example, the ending part of a musical performance, or like ending of a structure which is different from the main structure. Harry Potter's coda takes us to what happens 19 years later. So the books ends with the coda, which is what happens 19 years later. Usually, coda is associated with a musical performance. Now, goad is to urge or force someone to do something. For example, the legal notice to them sent by the government should goad them to start paying proper taxes. So, goad is to urge or force someone to do something. Distend, to enlarge from internal pressure, expand or swell. Medical term, distend is a medical term. For example, the stomach distended by diseases. To enlarge from internal pressure, expanding, swelling is distend. So let's quickly have a revision. Abeyance, temporary suspension, coda, the ending of musical performance or some ending which is different from the structure. Dissonance is um, argument or disagreement. Goad is 
to force someone to do something lethargic is dull inactivity absconded is to to just move away to hide oneself to escape uh uh basically then uh, then we have four more words cogent distant gauge and levy levy is an embankment on the river uh, gauge uh, gauge is basically when you ha- when you hit something and it gets a deep hole or a or a deep cut that is gauge distend is a medical term distend is a medical term which is uh, which is used to say that uh, in- by internal pressure when something enlarges and what does cogent mean i want you to quickly leave in comments so this is a small uh, this is something small that you can leave what cogent means i just want to see if you remember it or not